I'm back? I think I'm back. Yeah, I see I'm back. Sorry about that. Somehow I had a drop. I don't know why I'm getting an unstable marker, but as I was running swell for days there. Weird. Hopefully y'all are still here. My bitrate's tanked. I should be fine. I feel like my, my, inter my internet's gone to crap, but it should be fine. Now, now. I'm gonna quick speed test. Which is in bumpiness, that's what it is. Okay, yeah. This is any problems, guys. Sorry. Shot at me. I'll try and fix it, but it looks like it's running fine now. Yeah. Yeah, so it looks like we're, we're going to go over here into try and get to Robbie and all that over there. So we'll do that, get this tower, and then head back here. One of the things I wanted to do, and I, re I just realized I was looking, is that the travel medallion, which everyone's talking about now with the updated trailer for Tears of the Kingdom, is already in this game as part of the DLC. So we're going to get our travel medallion, just to kind of show off a bit here before Tears of the Kingdom comes out. Which I think will help us greatly when we're going all the way into... Baron to try and get some more DLC armors down by the beach and stuff. Because I want to go down here and get some stuff that I've, I need to get. And then we'll head back into Hyrule Field and get to the Rito. Even though we could probably just teleport there and be faster. But the point is we have a tool and we're going to try and use it and show how useful it is. So, that's what we're doing today, I believe. We're going to go try and get a tower. Out over there. One thing I kept trying to get while I was doing all this DLC, DLC armor stuff as well, was I was trying to get a hold of um, Epona. Oh, wait, hold on. Yeah. <clears throat> oh. Today's customer appreciation day. This thing works on, even on those guardian things. It's amazing. I heard it works best if you hit the guardians in the eye with it. This old guy named Robbie gave it to me. Find him. Go way north past Zora's Domain. All the way to a call engine tech lab. Old Robbie makes a bunch of other weird weapons and clothes and stuff. He's what you call a mad scientist, which is kind of cool. But also terrifying. But if you want strong weapons and stuff, you should just go see him. Anyway, back to business. What are we looking for? What are you selling? What are you buying? What are you selling? There it is. That's one of the things I wanted to get. Is the snowboard? I kept hyping it up. A superb metal snowboard made with made for with sliding around Death Mountain in mind. It's slicker and more durable than the average wooden snowboard. So, snowboards. We got snowboards in uh, Breath of the Wilds, so we can do our, our shield switching better. Yeah, but I'll be inventory. So, I'll have to come back. So that's one of the things we need we need to do when we go find um. Has to, is we need to get ourselves the. How are we gonna tackle this? You know what I'm how do we want to tackle this? Is that a monster base? Yeah. I want to get up in there to that tower. Joystick was being weird there for a second. You see that? It's like like holding off going down. Anyway. How are we gonna get up there? Looks like that goes up that way. That's what we wanna do. I don't have my well, I'm, a, I'm a bike, but I don't know how well, how fueled it is. I think last time I used it it wasn't very fueled. Got some shrooms or something, maybe like put those things. It's empty. Empty. Okay. What do we got that I can shove in there? I got a lot of fish from all those uh, amiibos. Let's see. All these key swings. I my game's lagging. Weird. Very strange.
Oh, knock somebody out. Well, they're black. I don't want to hear. Oh, it's a hardy, right? Yeah. I was thinking of a hardy radish. Yeah, you're definitely a uh, yep. lady I don't want to talk to. So we know you. They keep trying to trick me into talking to people. I guess with them, where they're going to be these uh, Yiga. Here we go. Making our way up to the bridge. Where is the bridge? Is this the bridge? That's the bridge. Okay. We're doing it. Very interesting. I've done this before just to say I did it, but I didn't look really explore it. I just kind of stuck around. I think I had, like, the sneaking armor back then. There's a ground entrance there, but there's that guy. Let's see. Hold the brake. Alright. Let's make a run on it, I guess. Get a little closer. Try and maintain a distance here. smart, so I'll just do my best to ignore them. We got the climbing set, so let's just go ahead and be a mo monster mountain man, climb up this wall. Please don't crash. Okay, good, didn't crash. Okay, so the goblin only thought he saw me, so that's, that's a great win on our part so far. I wonder if I did this before. If I when I played this previously, I just climb up the wall and didn't make a deal of it. It seems scarier. Th Maybe it seems scarier than it is. I haven't uh, visited this thing in a long time. If I do, I literally just like glide over it or glide from it somewhere else. Looks like a good place to stop. Get some rest. scared of something funny oh there's the th there's the beep beep it's funny oh wow see I didn't realize that you could see him just kind of hanging out there whenever you wanted to it's one but we're ignoring him for now all right we're still going up Doing it. I still muted? No, okay. Sorry. 
It's been so long, I'm like making sure everything's still functioning as the way it's supposed to. Instantly hear malice. Now this is what I remember, is that it was just like covered in crap. It's a whole thing of like just jumping around trying to make sure you dodge it. Oh, doctor. Okay. It looks like I can make a jump from here over to there and then walk along the wall and get to get about as close as I want to get to it. Let's do a hard save here right now just before we get too far ahead of ourselves. Luckily the temperatures aren't getting to me. That'd be a pain. Look at that, looks like there's a moat or something. Stay still, he won't notice me. Excellent. That guy did though. Dying the mouse? Nope. Come on, me. Face shields any better than mine? Yeah, I'm done with this. I can take. I can throw a shield. I would. We're still fashion over everything else right now. Okay. That him hearing me or something else? I can climb a little bit, but what's that gonna get me? Can I climb through? Shit. I need to make that not not reachable by anybody. Just pick it up. Send it over here. There's gotta be a better way. What if I shoot him with a bomb arrow if he just hates himself? Getting all those extra bomb arrows is a good thing. Is there an eyeball I can shoot to make this better for me, or am I just gonna have to like eat it and go? Ooh, there's a metal chest over there. Why do I just have to eat it and like get through it? Thank you. I guess I just have to like commit and climb through some of this crap. I'm not seeing a way around it, per se. My best bet's maybe jumping from that platform over. Yeah, it might be. Cause I don't see 
any particular good thing here. Can I do like a leap and avoid most of this? Okay. We took a lot of damage there. We'll take a second and stuff our faces with some food. Try this again. No. No, no, we cannot do that. Okay. It, she literally can't pass through the mouse when she's climbing. So, we need to find the night ball. There's an eyeball. Well, I did that. That's not what I wanted to do. It's cold now. It's nighttime game. Oh, you know. Where's my ruby? Ruby, 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 ruby. Very nice. Was it raining too? Good to know. Which means. either. I want to make a way back to that that uh, covered uh, fire and get ourselves some uh, rest. Kill, kill the time. If we can. I don't know if that's possible with all the rain. have to do anything. We will try. Go over here and mark this uh, shrine while we're at it. Can be in fire, thankfully. Pass the time. Oh, Blood Moon. Wait for her to say it, then we'll do it. The moon rises once again. Can I skip it? Yes, you can. Oh, which means the guy I just killed is back. <laughs> That's what that meant. Thanks for letting me. Thanks for reminding me, game. Oh, sick. Got a sneak shot on him. All right. So. Back where we started. But everyone we tried to kill is still alive. Double ball marrow. Eat it. The cool thing about the double arrows is he uses one arrow but still shoots two arrows. Start double blows. Love double blows. I wonder if that counts for malice. We just destroyed malice with blood moons. What I meant by that? It does, because there's the eyeball back. More you know. Nope. Change the bow. We're still hunting for like uh, another malice eye so we can get in there. That is some way to like launch ourselves way up into the sky to get to this thing. 
Somebody in chat has a uh, suggestion on what to do. I'm all ears. Because I've very much forgotten. I'm curious what they intend me to do with this. Like it was a tool or something. Oh, 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 is that it? Is that the solution? Hang on, I gotta get take this guy. I think this was the answer, and I just forget, didn't think about it before. Yes. Yes! Perfect. I knew it sounded right, but I forgot. So. I wonder how people do it. Or if there's another solution, or if that's the only way. I'm sure if you had, like, Rivali's Gale, which you will get eventually, you could just launch yourself up above all the malice and that'd be a problem. Or if you were, like, a crazy, like, glitcher and used, like, uh, wind bombs and, like, launch yourself up there, that'd work too. <clears throat> Fine, everybody. Hydrate, drink some water. Now this will, this will give us a great uh, view of the world around us, and we will be able to get somewhere easily with this. That's a scary image, just hop and see a guardian there, though. Shika Tower activated. And there's at least three shrines around us, so that makes it easy to find some quick shrines. Scanning air. Excuse me. Scanning area. Big old map. And the giant square is the labyrinth off in the distance. Need to go there. Also, we'll be able to pass one of the shrines, or one of the, yeah, shrines of wisdom and, like, power and stuff. The ones related to the Triforce. Which I have a mod for that, too, which I'm very excited to share. And we should probably check this guy for, for goodies. Be there, goodies. Thanks. Alright. Ah, <clears throat> uh, very important. Yeah, because this is the shrine for... Great Fairy, and what will be Terry Tower once we get, like... We have the gold now, technically, to go buy our house. We should do that. Not yet. Um... Yeah, lots to do still here. Okay. So I think... What's that? Never noticed that before. Cannon as well. There's a lot of cool stuff, like... In the surrounding area around this area that I never really saw. Because it was like always like really scary, so I was just like came here, got what I needed, and left. Maybe when like we become like a crazy monster person here in a second, once we go see what to take care of Robbie, then we'll come back. Ooh. Those three trees, that's definitely a Korok puzzle too, so we'll mark that as well. Okay. So first thing we're gonna do, I think, is this shrine that's over here, because it's closer, right? Yeah, let's do this shrine for this stable. I didn't realize there was a stable there. And then we'll come back up here and go over the other one. Cool. Let's go. Execute plan. So how's everybody's week been? I know I was pretty excited when out of the nowhere we had that announcement about the uh, new 
trailer for Cheese of the Kingdom. That was really cool. See more of the game and abilities and things. Well, not trailer, sorry. It was a gameplay uh, preview. It was neat to see everybody's like hardcore Zelda fans talking about it and showing off things you could do and see and stuff. It looks wild. And I am delighted by what I'm seeing and very happy. Very, very, very happy. <clears throat> Sorry, I, I muted myself, but it didn't go through, damn it. I didn't mean to cough them, everybody's ears there. Got a lot of phlegm tonight, I don't know what it is. Here's my pizza. I had a lot of hot Tabasco on it. Alright. The Sakasha apparatus. Oh, yeah, the apparatuses are, are dumb ones. They're dumb ones. Because they're literally just like. Flip it over. Oh, this one we have to actually, like, solve, solve. I can't just, like, flip it. Do, 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 do. Flip that whip. Do, 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 do. Give the man the slip. Do, 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 do. Flip on a brick. Make your mama's back. Humans whip it. Make it not too long. Humans whip it. And another number. Crack the whip it. Well, inverted, that's fine. Wrong shield. Right shield. Oh, I've done this one before in the past. I forget what makes this special, though. Ah, that. trick that EJ taught me. Not to like be a slave to this crap. <clears throat> I think what happens is I have to like jump over here on this side and walk up it to get on top to then slide over. Memory serves. Read the, read the situation wrong. I thought I was gonna go all the way around, not stop and come back up. I I, I knew that, but I forgot. Okay, still on the wrong side. That's okay. Right side. Do this, and we get on this and walk up to make in our platform. There we go. Silver skill spear. We'll leave that there. <laughs> just running some like, well, now you wasted an arrow. Whatever. This one's an easy one. Let's just gotta match the balls. Gotta match the balls, Pokemon. Nope. These balls just. Pain, man. 